Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is like 7 p.m. right now at nighttime, which is why I look kind of like a hot mess, not fresh from the morning. But there's a reason for that because I had a really busy morning and I completely forgot to film the intro to this vlog. So this is it right now. After this, I will dive back into what I did this morning and during the day, and then you'll see the full outfit. But it has been a long time since I've done one of the realistic what I wore in a week series. And honestly, guys, the past couple of months, I've literally just been at home wearing a lot of like casual clothes and sweatpants. And and I didn't really think that would be too cute for me to vlog but I decided that since this week I have a couple of things on the docket I would vlog my outfits because I had to wear something besides just sweatpants every single day so we are starting off today as a Wednesday July 15th I hope I'm gonna get this as close as possible to an upload day for you guys to be able to see what I've been wearing within this past week I like to get these up as soon as possible so it's like relevant with the time so you guys kind of feel like you're living the week with me but without further ado let's just jump right into today's outfit okay so as you can see I am not at home I'm currently at Mel's which is why it's in a different mirror but more or less for the rest of the week that you see this it will be in my mirror at home Home. I'm gonna show you guys really up close what I'm wearing right now. This is a set active bra. This is the oat milk box cut that I ordered from the recent haul. Super, super comfy. I've actually been wearing this sports bra like quite a bit over the last week and I've been loving it. Not only does it work as a sports bra, but as like one of those easy to wear tops, which is primarily why I bought this one in the shade and in this cut so I can wear it every single day. I have decided to pair it with my Aritzia bike shorts. Yes, these are the Aritzia ones. Really comfy as well. As you can see, my vibe today is just like stretch comfort, nothing too crazy. And since this style is trendy right now, that is a plus for me. For accessories, I currently have my Dior friendship bracelet and this Daisy London bracelet that I have. Also decided to accessorize with this silk scrunchie as well so I can tie my hair whenever I need to because it has been a few days since I've gotten my hair washed and this girl's not going out with just undone hair because it's gonna be a mess and it's gonna look really nasty. Shoes on, I just have my sneakers which are my sketchers. I'm not currently wearing them because we're inside the house so you guys won't see that but besides that, oh yeah, my bag. I'm wearing a real purse for the first time in a while. Let me go grab it and show you guys. So purse wise, it's been quite a while since I wore a legit purse. So I decided to wear one out since we are going to get our nails done today and doing a little bit of shopping on Bloor. I am wearing my Dior saddlebag and I also have wrapped up top here is the silk headscarf that Mel actually got for me for my birthday. You guys will have seen that if you watch my birthday vlog. I actually have no idea how to tie this on. We're back now after a full day out. So this was actually tied on by one of the sales associates at Dior because I asked them to help me out since I didn't know how to put it onto my bag. But this is the full outfit for today. I will now jump back into the vlog earlier in the afternoon to show you what we've been up to and then you will see a full outfit breakdown at some point there. So we're here at Madison's Pleasure in Yorkville now. Haven't been here in almost five months. It's been a long time. I'm back with Christina, she's doing my nails. You guys have seen her do my nails before. She does an amazing job. And they have some amazing COVID measures in place so you feel totally safe and comfortable here. Mask required across Ontario right now. So got my surgical mask on. A little bit easier to breathe because it's a little bit lighter and we're gonna be in here for a little bit. And I'm with Mel, but she's all the way over there. So we are socially distanced, close but far away so that we're safe. And I can't wait to show you my nails with the full outfit afterwards. So thank you. These are the naked nails. Well, you guys have seen my naked nails. I literally haven't had polish on them in so long, but filed and shaped perfectly. And now we're gonna get started. We've gotten as far as getting the tips in. This is what one nail looks like. You guys guess what we're gonna be doing next? Last few steps, putting in, and then we'll be done. Ship to Locations now because we are done the nails and we're gonna be doing a petty, but I wanna show you what the nails look like because they are so cute and Christina did such an amazing job. Every single time she does my nails, I am like blown out of the way. So good, so good. I trust her with like with my nails when I'm running them done. Showing it to you guys against the red. We did these little tiny clouds on a gradation of blue and negative space so that when they grow out, they don't look like grown out nails. Very happy with these. Mel has already started her petty treatment. Let's see your nails. So how would you describe these? I'm calling it golden era. Golden era. It's kind of like our deco abstract, but then also flux of gold. So Ooh. my artistic vision. What? Artsy nails. Artsy nails. So yeah. cute. And then what are you doing for your toes? I'm just doing white. I mean, at least it'll look clean. Yeah. Nice and clean. I'm going to be doing blue toenails for mine to match up the nails. Time for the toes to get their treatment. My favorite part for every petty treatment is to get all that dead skin off. Yep. All right, guys, the toes are done. 
so bad you can see my flip-flop tan on this but I came outside to show you what they look like in sunlight a little bit better we're in the shade right now so it's not too bright but I'm loving this baby blue it matches the nails perfectly wow I look so tan in the dark let me go into the sun really quickly for you guys to see what it looks like okay I tried to come into the sun but it looks even darker in the sun I don't know what is going on with the camera right now but it's a really cute blue I love it Hello and welcome to Thursday, July 16th. As you can see again, I am vlogging at nighttime because I failed to vlog first thing in the morning to let you guys know what I'm gonna be doing each day. But jumping in here to give you today's intro and then I'll go right into the outfit and what we do today, the mini vlog of the day. Today I am going to be hanging out with Mel. We're spending the whole day shopping and exploring some like upper areas of the city. So I'll take you guys along with me, but I'm going for a nice simple outfit since it's a little bit cooler and actually rainy outside So I don't need to wear like all white and sports bras because I can cover up a little bit more It's not that hot today. So let's just jump right into the outfit. All right So since I am filming this at like night time, I'm once again at Mel's house Today's outfit is going to be this Rolling Stones graphic tee that I got from Mango like a long time ago. That's is Dave in the background working away hard. And then I have this page asymmetric denim skirt. Yes, it is a denim skirt with like a frayed hem. I've literally had this skirt for so many years. It's so comfy, stretchy, but it's very short and I always have to like pull it down when I get out of cars, but love it. And then continuing with the all black theme, this is my Gucci crossbody that I wear all the time. You guys have seen it many times before. Going casual, no makeup today. So also that means glasses. I am not wearing my contacts because I wore them for way too long yesterday and they really hurt my eyes. So there's that. And then I have my silk scrunchie from Silk Labs. Love this stuff. Also Toronto local brand. So a shout out to Jenna. I love your scrunchies. I literally wear them like every day. And then for shoes, I am wearing my Nike socks. And then I'm wearing my chunky dad sketchy sneakers. Because, you know, comfort. We're going to be out and about. So this is the whole outfit. Let's go on with the day. So we are currently on route. We're spending the day together shopping and thrifting because it's one of our favorite pastimes and we found some really fun things so far. Because it's more or less raining today, like on and off all day long. It was thunderstorming this morning actually when I was about to leave. I was supposed to walk to Mel's place but it was like raining like crazy so she came and picked me up instead and because of that, the Uber has arrived. Uber has arrived. My personal Uber. Actually, she has been shuttling me around all day today. So I would say that's personal Uber. Accurate. Five stars rated. Ding. Let me know if I should leave her a tip though. <laughs> She's like, yes, please. Um, but yeah, it's it's really overcast and cloudy, so that's why we're just doing some shopping today instead of going out and enjoying the sun. Yesterday was insanely hot. But I've just done it all black, a little bit more comfortable in darker clothes today. Usually on a hot day, I like to wear white clothes so it's not too hot because it reflects off the sun. But, but where are we going right now? We're going to a Salvation Army, right? Yeah. Yeah, Salvation Army, we've been to a couple of Valley Villages and we went to a new place called National Thrift Store that I've never been to before. It was bomb. Pricing, phenomenal. Very cheap, highly recommend. Headed to our next favorite place in the world, Value Village. Or as we call it, VV Boutique. Oh yeah, it's my boutique guys. So we've got some wares in here. Mel's got some corning ware. Are you gonna make me dessert now? Yeah. Yeah, she don't cook but she bake. And a couple of other cute little glassware pieces but we're gonna look for accessories and scarves. So the costume jewelry here is mad cute. There's this little tiny chain bracelet, but get it, but I don't like this little wishing well here. It kind of creeps me out. It reminds me a little bit of the ring. So we'll be stepping away from that, but otherwise, quite heavy. Only $3.99, I think, too. Where's the price tag on this? Yeah, yeah, $3.99. Good price. Just picked up these book, book things. I don't know what these are called. They're to prop up books. And I'm actually going to collect as many of them as I can for the wedding since we're delayed till next year now. So I think this would be cute to put on the tables or even in the welcome table to put our picture frames on whenever our guests come in. And they're actually quite cheap. I think I could pay like 99 cents for these, so quite happy. So we're on our very last stop of the day. I think we've hit up like almost 10 different places for fun because, you know, gotta find things to do when there isn't much to do during a pandemic. And after this, we're gonna head back home and I'll show you my full outfit in the next week. But that is my day of shopping with Melissa Hoy. Ta da! Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is July 18th. 
did that right. I missed a day of vlogging. I missed yesterday, July 17th, because yesterday was kind of like just a shoot day. I spent all day at home filming a bunch of stuff for YouTube, and I completely forgot to film this vlog to show what I was wearing. To be very honest, I wasn't really wearing anything too exciting and I know that I was gonna show realistic outfits i.e. things that also weren't too exciting but since I was shooting a bunch of videos for YouTube that means that I'm also gonna be changing in and out of my outfit like constantly so honestly all I wore was just pajamas all day long so I don't think that would have been anything too I don't know interesting or intriguing for you guys to see but I'm back today and I did remember to film today it is actually 5 30 in the evening it's been such a slow day so far and I've actually worn this outfit all day long so I think that merits me showing it to you guys don't worry I'm still gonna include a full week's worth of outfits I'm gonna add in one more extra day to this so you guys get a full seven days of outfits so you guys can see what exactly I'm wearing but I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing today I'm also shooting some more outfits for YouTube as well so I'm gonna be changing out of this in a little bit but I've so far spent the day reading a book playing overcooked on our new switch oh yeah we got a brand new switch i'm super excited about that i've been playing overcooked and animal crossing so much peter's been obsessed with mario kart and then after that we're gonna go to fresh co to get some groceries so i guess i will be wearing this outfit today so let's just show you right off the bat my casual hot summer outfit for the day because it is so hot outside i am back at home which means no more cute gold mirror to shoot in front of that was at mel's house you guys recognize this mirror this is my full length one from ikea but like i said it's a very basic outfit day today i am wearing this crop top bra style top i guess it's a knit part of a set i wore this a lot in la and although it may seem very like thick and hot it's actually super breathable and fantastic for this weather because it's thick enough that i can wear as a top that it doesn't feel too revealing because the material is not super thin but also it doesn't cover a lot so i don't feel hot and then pairing with it are my airy sweat shorts that you guys may have seen in my airy haul video i have been obsessed with these shorts they're like the easiest thing to pull on they're not form-fitting are just like super flowy and relaxing and i've been wearing them like all day long honestly i've been wearing them almost <laughs> like maybe at least once every three to four days since i bought them i just like wear them around the house when i'm just doing work and i want to feel comfortably relaxed like i said thick because they are sweat shorts but they don't feel like i'm wearing anything on which is fantastic and then because i'm at home no shoes but to complete the look i have my glasses on Super cute. These are from Bon Look. You guys have seen these ones before. I wear these like every single day. I do have a brand new pair of Bon Look glasses that are coming in the mail soon though. I'm super excited for those. So stay tuned for the change because I'm getting brand new ones and new glasses are always fun. But I'm waiting for my brother to get out of the bathroom so I can put on my face and then we can go shoot the H&M stuff on the floor in front of me here. That's a huge mess in front of my mirror. As always, what is new guys? But that is my outfit for today and you guys will join us as we do a couple more things for the rest of the day. Nothing too exciting though. Just filming and going to fresh coat. So that's all you're gonna see. I've got a bunch of laundry here that that's sitting folded for me to put away and Kobe's just chilling on the bed next to Peter while he's playing on the Switch. What are you playing now? Still Mario Kart? Yeah. It's been like over an hour. I think you're addicted, like actually addicted. Okay. Listen, are we gonna play Overcooked soon? No, I'm Ugh. playing Mario Kart. Rude! Sorry. This is what happens when we have a home day. Peter just chills in bed while I do work. Playing Mario Kart while the dog sleeps. On my fresh clothes. This is rude. I just cleaned them. You're not supposed to be on them, buddy. <laughs> One video down filmed, second one coming. I have just changed into another outfit. I am doing a repotting video of my monstera since so many people on Instagram want to see me repot my plants. So I'm gonna document that. Hopefully it goes well. I am not the expert at repotting and I try to do my best. So it has been a couple of hours now. We have finished shooting everything. We actually also went out to Fresh Coat to pick up some food because we're making a ramdon tonight for dinner. If you guys don't know what ramdon is, it is this dish that is essentially like instant noodles with beef from Parasite and people love it. So we want to try it because it looks amazing. Peter is currently cutting up the beef. Le boeuf. And I'm heating up the water to put the noodles into and then we're gonna get started on a dinner. Outfit wise, I've changed a little bit just because I wanted something easy to wear while we went grocery shopping that was like easy to throw on after we shot all the videos and I'll pop back on tomorrow to show you what I wear tomorrow. Welcome to July 19th. I think it is the 19th. I'm back at Mel and Dave's house, which is why you see their place so cute gold mirror again today. And today Mel and I are going to be doing some content creation. We're shooting a bunch of stuff for a special something coming soon 
I'll keep you guys updated once it's available for me to share you what the special project we're working on is. But because we're just doing some work today and I'm not gonna really do any sort of shooting, I'm just like back in my comfy clothes. I am wearing this knit right here. Actually, let me switch to the mirror so I can show you the full outfit. Full outfit here. I am just wearing this like comfy, cozy knit sweater from that Zara set that I got. I have many Zara sets as you guys probably know by now. And this is the brown one. Oh my God, if I can get this unbuttoned. Just use it as a cardigan because we had the AC on really hot in our house. Sorry, really cold in our house. And it got kind of chilly with just the bra top underneath. So I threw this on. And then I'm wearing the same outfit underneath. Again, surprise, surprise. When you work from home, I don't really wear cute different things. But this is also the knit bra top from the old Zara set. And my airy sweatshorts. So nice and comfy. Able to move around and get work done. Just got socks on. And I'm also just wearing my Skechers runners that you guys have seen already. And then my Silk Lab scrunchie again. And then my bottle glasses. So nothing too crazy today. As I said, I'm going to be doing a realistic what I wore this week. And I'm not creating cute outfits to show you guys cute outfits. Because that is not the purpose of this video. But yeah, this is today's outfit attire. Let's get on with the day. got really hot took off my sweater but it's only one o'clock right now and it has turned into a major thunderstorm outside i don't know if you guys can major. see it but it's like blowing like crazy it's thundering lightning so we got to stop that is it for the day peter's gonna come pick me up now and then i'm gonna go back home and edit all of these photos but before i leave i'll get mel to do a quick like outfit of the day so you guys can see what i wore and then that'll probably be it for today's vlog so stay tuned for the full outfit and then i'll see you guys again tomorrow <laughs> Good morning guys and welcome to July 20th. I am here right now dressed in the same t-shirt that you saw the other day but don't worry I swapped up the pants a little bit so it's not the exact same outfit but you'll recognize the pants. Um, the reason I'm wearing this stuff is because Peter and I are actually going on a little adventure today. We have rented a car and we are going to be going hiking and exploring some nature for the day. I'm also packing a bunch of clothes to take some outfit shots with just in case you know because uh, why not we're gonna be outside we have a car and I can bring a bunch of outfits with me. So because of that, I'm wearing an outfit that's easy for me to change in and out of and also something that's comfortable for me is in the car as well because I think we're going to be driving at least like an hour and a half up north so I don't want anything too restrictive. First thing we're going to be doing is a hike and I was actually going to wear some gym clothes for that but the gym clothes are a little bit tight and restrictive so I figured I'd wear something like a little bit more loose and baggy but let me show you what I've got on today. So like I said, this black mango Rolling Stones t-shirt, like always. My airy sweatshorts again. I've literally been living these shorts this past week. Same thing for the past like month or two. You guys can tell they're the comfiest things in the world. I honestly just went to sleep in them last night and then woke up this morning. I was like, they're comfy enough. Let's just keep them on for the rest of the day. And then for shoes, nothing crazy. My white Skechas. You guys know these pretty well. And then for purse, I don't really need it, but I'm just bringing it with me just in case we do go somewhere that I need my purse and my wallet. It is my black Gucci Soho disco bag and then I got my Silk Lab scrunchie. That's what they're called scrunchie with me Nothing for the eyes today except for my contacts because I am Going to be putting on makeup when we're in the car while Peter's driving so I just packed my glasses away We're actually gonna be sleeping over at my cousin's place in Hamilton So we're gonna have a fun little day trip there and then I will show you my outfit for tomorrow morning Maybe when we come back. I'm not sure if I before we leave or not Yeah, maybe actually during the day tomorrow because I'm just gonna be wearing this to come back home So that's not gonna be my outfit of the day Oh, I also forgot necklace. This is my Celine pendant. Has a letter V. I hope you guys can see it. It's really dark in here. Sorry. This letter V that I got when I was in Paris with Mel like a year and a half ago. And then a bracelet is just from Daisy London. I got my engagement ring. It's from David German. And my gift from Jess from her wedding or her bachelorette. This is uh, just like a gold band from It's Golden. So that's today's outfit. Let's head out in the car and go on our adventure. We have been essentially more or less like stuck downtown in our condo for the longest time ever. And we just want to take a car out to go exploring, go see nature, do some hiking and shoot some photos, I guess in the wild somewhere. So Peter picked up a car today and we're going to be heading up north to go check out Monocliff Parks. 
Um, it's a place that I've always actually wanted to go to in the fall time because I've heard that they get really nice, beautiful, colorful foliage in the fall. But we're gonna try today in the summer just to see what it looks like. And if it's nice, we might just return in the fall sometime. But the reason why I have no makeup on is because it takes about like an hour and a half to get up to there. And I figured I would just do it in the car as opposed to doing it at home. I have a call to take in the car later anyway, so I'll just slowly and casually apply it on. It feels really weird starting the vlog. I'm gonna have to split this vlog up somehow. I don't know how because I'm in the process of filming it two vlogs at once. There is a realistic one I wore this week and then also today's like just day tripping vlog. Oh, and we're gonna end the day with a sleepover in Hamilton at my cousin's place and they got a new house, so I'm excited to see that. But for now, we are in the car and then we're gonna take off and head up north while I apply my face on. Pit stop at McDonald's because we wanted food. Gotta grab the mask and put it on though. So we're in Monocliff Falls now. I've actually changed my outfit so I didn't get a chance to show you guys the other one but I'll show you it later once I get the chance to change back into it. This is something a little bit different just to wear while we're hiking through the forest and that's what we're doing right now. So let's go on a journey of exploration in nature. <laughs> We're back in McDonald's because we got real hungry and we don't have dinner plans until like 7.30 which is going to be sushi. So we decided we're going to get like a small snack but we're currently on the way to Guelph to pop into um, some thrift shops and some antique places. I currently switch into like a white crop top and my black Bermuda jeans that I've had since like last summer that I got from Princess Polly. They're so comfortable. And then I also threw on, I don't think you guys have seen this yet, I'm going to do my, my yoga flexing. My new sneaker! These are the Dior Oblique in whites. These are actually men's sneakers, but they come down to like a size 34, no, 24, 34, 34, yes, a 34. So I could get my size 36. I've been trying to look for these for like the longest time and they've always been sold out. So I decided I was gonna gift myself them since I found them in stock at the Dior um, Blower. And I literally haven't really bought anything for myself since like six months ago. And you guys know I skipped out on birthday present for myself so when I stumble upon these I figured it probably would be a sign that I should get it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the next day. It is July 22nd. You heard me right, I skipped the day again. I did not film my outfit or vlog anything at all yesterday because plainly, I did absolutely nothing whatsoever at all. I literally just stayed at home. I woke up in the morning, fell asleep again for like three hours, woke up, read a book, ate some food, cleaned a little bit, went back to sleep and literally did nothing whatsoever at all after we got home from uh, Hamilton. It was a very lazy day yesterday and considering the fact that the two nights before I barely got any sleep and we were running around doing so much, I honestly just took the whole day off and just slept. So there was really nothing to show. I just stayed in my PJs, literally the same thing I have on right now because after I went to bed yesterday, I woke up this morning and I haven't changed since. It is in the middle of the afternoon right now. I'm in the middle of doing some work, but I'm actually going to take a break to wash my hair to take a shower and then I'm gonna change into an actual outfit for the day because I feel really gross I've been in the exact same clothes for the past like 48 hours and that's just not right so I'm gonna get out of this change to something a little bit more appropriate and then later tonight we're going to be heading up to Mel and Dave's we're spending the night there because Mel and I have a very exciting launch tomorrow I think by the time you guys watch this vlog the launch will have already happened so you'll probably have an idea of what it is if not you haven't seen the launch yet make sure to check out my instagram you guys will find out in the stories as to what's going on but we're spending the night there um to kind of manage the launch for tomorrow morning and to do some work in regards to the launch but that's essentially going to be it so i will be wearing some like relatively nicer clothes i guess since i'm going out but this is it for the moment i will be back after my shower to show you today's outfit. So I am out of the shower now and I have my outfit on. I just have a simple black tank and skirt. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in the mirror and then we're going to head out to walk over to Mel and Dave's place. Super simple outfit today. Like I said, just a cropped black tank because I want to be comfy. A skirt since we're going to be walking up there and it's nice and stretchy so I feel comfortable. My Skechers sneakers. As always, I've literally been wearing this the entire summer and my black Gucci Soho disco bag because also 
my purse of the summer. I haven't been wearing too many crazy purses lately, just like my Dior saddlebag and this one. So I've been rotating through those ones. And then hairs up, well, it's supposed to be in a bun. It fell down. I might have to tie it up again. In my silk lap scrunchie and my bundle glasses. Necklaces, I don't have them on right now because I forgot them at Mel's place. So we're going to retrieve them when I'm there. Don't worry. And then bracelet, Daisy London. That's always my simple gold chain bracelet. Love it. David Yerman engagement ring. And my golden ring on this side. So let's head over to the place. Currently walking up to Mel and Dave's. It is super dark outside. It's like nine something at night. So you guys can barely see me unless there's light on my face like now. But taking the dog out, heading up. I'm gonna do some work there. Maybe eat a little snack. I'm getting really famished now. Should have eaten dinner a little bit later. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys my outfit when we get there. I'm at Mel's now. We're doing work, getting ready for a special launch tomorrow. As I said, you guys will see this on Instagram because it's going to be going live after the launch. So stay tuned if you guys haven't already seen it, check it out. You're doing some work. We spend the rest of the night doing this and then the reason I'm here is because we also have to be up early in the morning tomorrow to oversee the launch and to do some other work as well so you guys will also see what I end up wearing tomorrow and tomorrow will be the very last day of the vlog of realistic what I wore this week so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow <laughs> July 23rd very last day of this realistic what I wore in a week vlog I'm still in bed because I just woke up there's Peter don't currently have my outfit on but I'm gonna go get it on and then show it to you guys to see what I'm wearing today so let's go okay I have a change into my outfit for the day just a heads up there's gonna be no shoes on today because we're gonna be in the house all day long but for the top I'm gonna go simple since I wanna be comfy while we're doing work all day today. And I'm wearing my black crop top again. This is the one from H&M that I just recently, no, you will not have seen it yet. You guys will see it in the next video in my pastel haul, even though this is not pastel, but love the fit of it. It's nice and comfy, very breathable. And I love how the straps are a little bit thinner. It's like a T shape up here, which is nice. And then for these shorts, these are my Song of Style shorts from Revolve. Nothing crazy. Once again, like super baggy. Love that they have pockets. And even though it's like faux croco snake skin, it's like very breathable because it's like loose. So I have lots of movement in my legs. Basic socks. These are literally just from like H&M. When you guys cash out at the counter, it's those like pack of six for like five bucks or something like that. Necklaces. I got these back from Mel because I forgot them here last time. This one is from Boutique Second Life. It's a reworked Dior necklace. And then this is just a chain from Maturi. Bond look glasses because not shooting. So see my eyes are rest but not wearing contact. And then I've got my Silk Labs scrunchie on my wrist right here in case I need to tie up my hair for the day. But oh yes, I also yeah. forgot jewelry as always my Daisy London bracelet and engagement ring and my golden ring right here. So that is the outfit for a work from home at Mel's Place sesh today. So we've been hard at work all day long and we have launched our baby sweet sequel. This has been in the works for a long time now and we're so excited because everything's live. Collection one and, and two. two. If you guys want to check it out, you can check it out right here. This is the Instagram account. And DM us if you guys want to purchase anything. We will set you up with oh all the God. best vintage goods. Well, at least the, the style that we like, right? Yeah. <laughs> and more coming soon that may or may not be vintage. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. But essentially, all we've done today is just like take pictures. What time is it right now? Seven. We've been up since like 9 30, 10 o'clock this working. morning. Essentially, working all day long we've done nothing to stop during the day except to eat lunch that was it it was like an hour and a half of a break to eat drink some coke and coffee and relax and chill out a little bit and we've essentially been shooting all day that's like almost 12 hours yeah Jeez. these are the type of work days you have when, when you're you... uh, are an entrepreneur and a self-employed individual correct so I'm having fun here editing some photos from stuff we just took Mel is currently monitoring social modern social and i will touch base with you guys when we head back home later words because peter and i are probably gonna walk home soon so that we can cook dinner the meat is marinating in the fridge i'm excited for dinner and then at some point i'll show you guys a montage of today's main outfit i've switched into something else because we had to shoot some photos for speed sequel but yeah <laughs> it for 
for this week's version of a realistic what I wore in a week. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I've been wearing in the past, I guess, week and a half since I essentially forgot to film two days worth, but I did give you guys seven days worth of outfits. As you can see, summertime, we're in lockdown, quarantine-ish kind of still. So my outfits have not been as adventurous as they would have been had I been going to like events and dinners and that sort of thing. But I did try to dress up a little bit nicer for myself with some realistic outfits on days when I just want to wear sweats anyway. So hope you guys got a glimpse of what I've literally been wearing while still more or less experiencing a pandemic and I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's been such a long time since I've done one of these realistic what I wore in the weeks. And I was for the longest time worried that if I did it, you guys would have nothing of value to watch since I haven't really been doing much. But this week has been really crazy. Thank you as well for joining along on the ride of us launching a sweet sequel. It's such an amazing day and what a fun way to end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this and I can definitely do more realistic what I wore in the weeks. Otherwise, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see See you next video.